hello guys today in this video I am going to demonstrate you how we can start or we can say how we can download the Visual Studio 2022 in Mac OS to do that here I am going to open here I am going to open the Safari browser and here I will search for Visual Studio okay so you can also go to Google and then here you can try Visual Studio okay and Visual Studio for Mac and here you can see the Visual Studio 2022 for Mac and here you just need to click on download now and it is right now you can see once I will click on download then it will take me to this screen and you can see the downloading should be started but it, it is not yet started then uh, I will click on click here to retry and once I will click on it then you can see it is asking me to download and you can see here it has started the downloading and you can see here and once I will click on that then it would open the Visual Studio installer and here what I need to do just need to click on it and here you can see it is asking for some permissions and here I will just click on open and yes it has started the recording so you know the recording it has started the downloading process and once the download will be completed then it will start installing it and here you need, just need to click on continue and then it will uh, keep it selected as dotnet because i just want to install the dotnet library here okay i don't want to install android ios and mac os okay so I will just click here on install button to proceed and now you can see the downloading has been started and once it will be completed uh, then it will automatically start the installation of Visual Studio as well okay so till that time let me pause this recording and then we will continue as you can see now the downloading is about to complete just 11 or 10 MB left and once it will complete the downloading then it will start the installation as well ok as you can see currently it is downloading, downloading the dotnet code 3.1 ok and now it has proceeded to installation and here you can see right now it is installing the visual studio preview because uh, the current available 2022 visual studio is in the preview right now so once it will release then we will also uh, install the actual or we can say the release or the stable version of the visual studio and here you can see we need to put the password to move ahead with the installation of visual studio okay so I have entered here my password okay and let me re-enter it again I think something is wrong okay so I have re-entered my password and I will click on ok and you can see it is moving forward with the installation and it is installing it rapidly you can see here it has reached up to 91% or it is it looks like it is about to complete okay the last thing it is installing is the dotnet code 3.1 okay and here you can see it is asking me to install the other tool which is dependent with the visual studio or we can say the xcode so it is asking to install this command line tool for enabling the version control or we can say git okay in the visual studio for mac but right now i am not going to do all those things so here i will click on done and now you can see 
visual studio is about to open you can see at the bottom okay and now you can sign in with the microsoft account so to sign in i will just click on there and here i will enter my microsoft account to log in using the microsoft but i will do it later right now i will just click i will do it later and as i have moved from windows user I, to mac right now so i will prefer to use my windows control for the visual studio so i will click this one okay and here i will click on continue okay and here i will create the first project with visual studio 2022 for mac so here i will click on new and here i will choose console application with c sharp and i will click on continue here i will keep it selected dotnet course 6.0 and then I will click on next and here I will put my project name which is uh, which is test console and the solution name will also remain same I will click on create and here you can see uh, here you can see the project is open now okay and here I will click on just run button or play button to view the change code change in the console so in the console it should display hello world and you can see here in the display it is hello world okay let me put or do some changes in the code in the console so i am going to write it here hello world this is raj hans okay and i will run it again and you can see again the console it is showing hello world this is raj hans so looks like everything is working fine in the project and now the visual studio setup is done okay and i don't think so anything is remaining now that's all guys in this video thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe my channel